Good day. Good day and welcome to today's construction class. Right, so for today we'll be looking at the principles of agency. Yeah, we're looking at the principle of agency, alright? So agency is a means of joining, yeah, it's a means of linking or joining two circles uh, together, either with the aid of a straight line or a curve, alright? And as we all know, our basic of circle, alright? A line touching a circle at any point on its circumference is known as what is known as a tangent. Is known as a tangent, right? So, but in this very uh, lesson, we'll be looking into what you call agency. We'll be looking into what you agency, all right? So, the very first principle is joining an arc on two straight lines. So, let's assume I'm having a line on this one. You understand? Then another one in this one, all right? So, this is point A, this is point B, this is point C. So, I'm going to assume the height of this line is what? It's uh, 50 mm, 50, and this area is also what? 50. So, if I am to draw an arc, Joining this particular with this particular line together, and I was told that the radius of my arc, let's say arc of r thirty mm. If I was going to draw an arc of radius thirty mm joining these two uh, lines, these uh, perpendicular lines together, how do I do that? So the very first thing you need to do is what? Just pick your ruler and from the point B, yeah, which is from the uh, junction, from the perpendicular junction, right? Measure thirty mm towards this area. Let's assume this like this. Alright, then measure 30 for this area also towards the problem. Let's have this my 30 also. Then having done that, the next procedure is what? Pick your compass, extend, pick your compass, extend this to video starting. After extending your compass to video starting, place it at the first junction here. You understand? You strike and hack, then place it at the second junction. And what? And also strike and hack with that same video sketch. Alright, so from that point of intersection, now place your compass with the same video sketching and what? And join. Yeah, and join. All right, you'll be having something like this. You'll be having something like this, all right? So, the radius of this particular arc is what? Radius 30, all right? So, that is what? That is the first principle. That is the first principle. So, the second principle is what? Is the principle of what? External agency. Yeah. The second principle is the principle of external agency. So, if a agency is said to be external, what are we trying to say? So, take a look at this very uh, scenario. Let's assume I have a circle of smaller diameter here, then I have another circle of, of a bigger diameter here, alright? Bigger diameter, smaller diameter. So if I'm having a curve, a curve, yeah, if I'm having an intelligence in this one, alright? Take note of this, this arc, yeah, this arc one and arc two, yeah, this are going to be used as external targets and, and what? And internal targets and internal. Okay, this I have to So this arc on point two is what is external. External because by the time I try to complete this very arc, you know this arc now is if I want to complete it on this circle, what am I going to do? I'm going to have something on this on this one. Yes or no? Alright, you can see. So this circle is what is on the outside of the original circle. Yeah. This arc is what is on the outside of the what of two circles is touching. So this arc is set to what is set to what external. That is why it's set to what the external, right? So if an arc is internal, how do I denote that? Take a look at the arc and copy around, all right? So if I'm going to make this arc a complete circle, see, you can see this particular arc is going to, it's going to encamp both of my uh, original circle. Yes, or no? it encamps both of my original circle. Therefore, this particular arc and top is what is internal. It is what it is internal. It is internal, all right? So let's uh, do uh, let's do this particular practice, right? Having a very good look at this. Uh, problem on the board now. So if we are to actually solve this problem, take a look at this particular target question. It asks what both an external and what an internal target. So how do we solve this problem? So the very first thing we need to do is what just produce your thin horizontal line, right? So produce a perpendicular line here, then make the distance between the perpendicular line, line to what 56, then you down the distance between what should be 50. Alright? So if the distance say is 50, you produce what the very first set of videos was 25. Okay? So this is my circle of videos 25, and this is my circle of videos what, of videos 12, right? This is my circle of videos 12. So the distance there is what? 50. Yeah. The distance there is what is 50. Alright. So the next thing is what? Take note. This one at the top here is what? See, it completes a circle on the what on the outside. So this arc is what? Is an external arc. It is an external arc. And in external arc, this is the solution. We are going to introduce the principle of what? The principle of what? Addition. 
Yeah, we introduce the principle of addition. All right. So addition in one sense. Take note of this. This very first cell has a radius of what? Of 25. All right. So big R equals to what? 25. All right. So this R here has a radius of what? Of radius 40. I will make it small R equals to what? 40. Then this small class here has a radius of what? Of radius 12. Then I'm going to make it my radius big R2 equals to what? Equals to 12. All right. So how do we get our arc for here? So the very first thing is what? 25 plus 40. 25 plus 40, that's what? That's 65. So after getting 65, pick your compass. Use it to measure what? 65. Extend it from point 0 to what? Point 65. Then place your compass at the midpoint of this circle. Then you strike an arc towards the top here, like this. All right? So that's it. So then, 12 plus 40, that's what? That's 52. So pick your compass, measure 52. Place it at this midpoint of this one, of this one as a here, and draw the second one, the second arc. All right. So by the time you do that, you surely have a word and intersection. So from that intersection, pick your compass and measure 40. Pick your compass and measure what 40. After measuring 40, place it at this point of intersection, and I assure you, you will get a what a perfect tangential curve, yeah, a perfect tangential curve of this one. So this arc is half of what? Um, 40, yeah, that's what R40. Okay, so to get this particular one now, this one is what is an internal arc. This is an internal arc. So, how do I get that? How do I get that? Okay, I am going to get so at this bottom now, my R is still what here 25, second R is still what is still uh 12. But our R, this particular R is what is what 8. 80. So to get internal arc, in internal arc, we apply the principle of what? Principle of subtraction. Principle of subtraction. All right. So what am I going to subtract now? Look up. 80 minus 25 is what? 80 minus 25 is 55. So pick your compass, measure 55. By the time you measure 55, place it at the midpoint here. Draw your arc. It will be somewhere here. All right. Draw your arc. It actually will be somewhere here. You understand? So then 80 minus 12 is what? Is 68. Measure 68, place it at the center here, at the center of the smaller side here, then what? Draw the arc also. By the time you draw the arc, then the next thing is what? Pick your compass and measure what? And measure 80. By the time you measure 80, place it at the point of intersection which you derive from it, then I'll show you to draw your arc. It will surely give you what? An arc of this sort, alright? So that is how to solve a problem on a tangency, tangency that involves two segments. So ensure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also ensure you refer it to your friends that might be in need of this. Thank you.